grateful that we again can come in your presence, Lord. You see all the needs, Lord. You see them, Father, from the foundation of the world, Lord. We have all this expectation now, Lord, that you see our heart, you see our longing, Lord. And you see the ones that we are praying for. And we see this service, Lord. We want to be touched by you, Lord, because we are longing for that day, Lord, when you are coming to take us all up into your place, Lord. Prepare us, Lord. Let us feel your spirit and your nearness, Lord. Take everything in your hands, Lord. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. morning when this life is over I'll fly away oh, to a home on God's celestial shore Thanksgiving in my heart. 
heart I will enter his course with praise I will sing this is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice for he has made me glad Oh, now he has made me glad Oh, he has made me glad I will rejoice for he has made me glad Oh, now he has made me glad Oh, he has made me glad I will rejoice for he has made me glad Oh, such joy Oh, such unspeakable joy, such peace, and everlasting peace, such love, pure and holy love, Spirit, have your way in me. Oh, now such joy, oh, such unspeakable joy, such peace, and everlasting peace, such love. Oh, pure and holy love, Spirit, have your way in me. Now there's a peace that floods my soul when the Spirit of the Lord is in control. And there's a joy no bounds can hold when the Spirit blows a fresh wind through my soul. Now, Holy Spirit, flow in me. Touch my heart and there will, there will be no such joy. Oh, such unspeakable joy, such peace and everlasting peace. Such love, pure and holy love, Spirit have your way in me. Oh, no such joy, oh, such unspeakable joy, such peace. And everlasting peace, such love, pure and holy love, Spirit have your way in me. Thank you, Brother David, for that. All right, you may be seated. Uh, I'll have a, just a little announcement to make. Some... I've made this before, but some have sent me emails and they haven't got any answer because my internet service is horrible and I cannot send emails out. So if you've sent me an email and you haven't got a response from me, it's because I can't send emails out. I can get emails, but I cannot send them out. So I just wanted to make that announcement so everybody is on the internet can hear it so because there are some that from overseas have sent me emails so I can't respond back so brother Kurt would you have a song for us then brother Ingba how about you after that
I said no, <laughs> but you know he's he, he put a seat in here. <laughs> uh, that just started going in my mind. I couldn't, I couldn't lay it aside. <sighs> so I called him back and I said, "Yeah, should we go?" <laughs> and he said, "Oh, should we?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
But there's something inside here, you know, keeps pulling you, you know. And uh, I'm so happy for that. I'm so glad. There's nothing that means more to me than to stand for the truth. I love the truth. And the truth shall set you free. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So I talked to Danny too here. And he said, if I have died, I, I will, if in this cra crash there, I would die believing this truth. Hey. Amen. That's how much it means. So I'm, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm very thankful. The Lord has kept us through a lot of stuff. <laughs> He's been good to us all the way. Sometimes you've been looking around, Lord, where should I go? But he has put something inside here. You just go straight ahead. Praise the Lord. And I'm thankful for my brothers. I'm very thankful. I'm thankful for my brothers and sisters here too. I'm thankful that, that they uh, preach the, the, the narrow path. We don't have a message that we can... You can go there and I can go there and... We come together and we agree. We have to stick to the truth all the way. Amen. And when you stick to the truth, that will set you free. You feel like, why do you tell me what to do? You know, sometimes you feel like, oh, 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 oh. you know, why, why do you tell me that? <laughs> but you listen and you do and you, you feel it. You feel you're, you've been set free from your own flesh. That's the good part about it. I want to I wanna put on the new man, you know. I don't want to drag this old man with me anymore. <laughs> I do sometimes, but... So I'm, I'm thankful. I'm so thankful. And um, I have to say, too, that uh, Sylvia, you know, and Tron, uh, she, she went to the hospital this morning. She's in labor, so remember her. And uh, remember all the brothers and sisters in, the, in Wordal or in Norway there. I know they're watching the internet now. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hello. <laughs> okay. I tror det är du då. I jag säger. Consider the lilies they don't toil no spin. But there's not a king with more splendor than them. Consider the sparrow they don't plant nor soil, but it's fair of the master. Watch us them grow for we have a heaven the father above with us full of mercy and a heart full of love and he really cares when our head is bound low, and see the lilies, and then you will know that I introduce you to the best. Who hangs up the stars and tells the sun, will you shine? He kisses the flowers each morning with you, but he's not too busy.
mercy and a heart full of love. He really cares when our head is bowed. Consider. brothers for that or that you can be seated brother david if you will come on then brother Fain, how about you after that okay how about the young sisters from norway would you have a song for us after brother david i don't see any head shaking no so i take that as a yes <laughs> god bless you brothers and sister and i'm happy to be here tonight like Paul said, if God's will, we will be there. That's a, it's an important attitude to have when you take decisions for what, what you're going to do. This time I wanted to have my son with me over here, and uh, he was supposed to have a, a very important uh, check at the hospital this Friday. So, uh, in fact, he didn't want to miss this uh, check at the hospital. He said, Dave... And he said one night, Daddy, uh, can't God give you a dream? Oh, so uh, I smiled at him. But the day after, I called the hospital because in the paper it's that you should have a good reason to not come because of the long waiting list. They was going to specialize, a specialist uh, to check the elbow. So I called the hospital and he said, what's, what's your son's name? I get the name and the birth. Here, here has to be in a change. It's, uh, it's the time is moved two days earlier. <laughs> what? And, and they, they didn't know why they do it. We just do it. And, uh, and he, he was supposed to have a big project next week at school. And that project was moved to the next week. <laughs> so he felt this was a leading. <laughs> So I'm, uh, I'm very happy to be here tonight. See. I am weak, but though I strong. Yes, Jesus, keep me from all wrong. I Let me walk close to Thee, just that closer walk with Thee. Where Jesus is my plea. Where 
that Jesus is my plea. Daily walking close to Thee. Let it be, dear Lord, let it be. When my feeble life is over, Time for me will be no more. God, me gently, safely away to Thy kingdom, sure to Thy Walk with thee. When this Jesus is my plea, daily walking close to thee, let it be. Sisters would come on.
sisters for that and thank each one of you for your songs. I'll turn their service over to Brother Allen this time. You may be seated. I have an announcement to make this morning so uh, I'll do it at this time but uh, first of all I want to thank all the Norwegians for being here and kind of making this a Norwegian service today. So, uh, you know, back home you'll be able to to enjoy your people this morning. So, thank the Lord for that. This will be a surprise, I'm sure, to most of you. We did talk to the people of the brothers and sisters in South Africa because we knew we wouldn't be seeing them face to face for the meeting so uh, we're really beginning to make plans for a trip to Israel and uh, we, Brother Steve has been working on this for uh, ever since we've been back from South Africa to try to get a time or opportunity to go this fall uh, to to Israel, and may not be able to make it then. But if if not, it will probably be next March. So we we've tried. Brother Brother Steve has tried very hard to get it set up for this fall. But you just about got to make plans for a year ahead of time. So uh, whenever uh, I know it's quite expensive, it's expensive, something like for the trip from here, there, back, your meals, everything is furnished uh, there and back, and it's somewhere around $3,500, $3,600. But Faith Assembly is going to take care of a third of that. So if you have plans and you we we will have to know pretty soon who's going because you do have to uh send in money ahead of time to be able to hold your place. It's not just something you make a plan for and then it's that's it. But uh uh, as I have said before, God in the last five, six years has really blessed Faith Assembly uh, with the means to be able to 
pay a third of each one's fare. So that would bring it down to where that it would be more feasible, I feel like, for people to go. And uh, I just want Brother Steve to come up and tell this morning just what that he has worked on and maybe what he can get out of the plans that he has been trying to make. He's worked very hard on it. I, I tell you, Brother Steve is everything that has ever been asked of him. He's done it with all of his heart. And I appreciate my brother uh, for that because it's not uh, it's not a not a labor for him, but it's a work of love that he has in his heart for uh, the saints of God. I know that there's people here today that do want to go to Israel because I have talked to them and even. Uh, it's been mentioned by certain Norwegians to go. So uh, I want you to think about it, and we'll uh, I'll let Brother Steve come up this time, brother. I don't have a whole lot more to add to what Brother Allen had said where he's first wanting to have something in the fall and and I've talked to three or four different uh, travel agencies that does these tours to Israel and first thing they ask, you know, you, well, you mean 2013. I said, well, no, I was trying to get 2012. And so I've only didn't have anything until yesterday morning when somebody called me and uh, said it looked like they had maybe found something in September. But they were supposed to email me prices and everything, and they emailed me a contract, but didn't have many prices on it, really, of what was going on. So I need to get back with them tomorrow and see what exactly what their cost is. And uh, the big thing is air travel. These They book a certain amount of block seats at discount prices for the air travel from New York, and then if they try to push extra seats at a given time, while well, the airline charges the premium for those seats and makes the price quite higher. But uh, as Brother Allen said, the price was roughly looks like it's going to be around $3,600 a person. And he said Faith Center is going to pay a third of it. And uh, I guess a person, from what I've talked to, most of these packages, you're expected to tip the bus driver and a tour guide every day of, you know, seven, eight dollars, and that make sure they're doing the best they can for you to take to the places. So you, know, you may want to figure another couple hundred dollars in, in that. So. Uh, but it's basically a 10-day trip, and they're counting the day there and day back as part of it. So you spend actually eight days on a tour and a day each way traveling to come back and forth. And uh, so it looks like a very nice trip. And if we can possibly get it in the fall, that's what we're going to. That's what we're trying to do. But it looks to me like, in all likelihood, it may be around March. It'll be the next time the weather is pretty good and it's not getting into the Passover season where it's prices really go up and it's just really crowded. So uh, I'm working with Brother Allen what sites he wants to see. If there's a, enough people that we can fill up a full tour bus or whatever, then we can pretty well dictate our own tour. But if we have to join another tour, well, then it's going to be a pre-planned everything, and that's the way it's going to be. So hopefully we'll have more information on that. And, uh, I know it's a big decision, and requires a little prayer and whatever, but uh, what I'd like to do is maybe think about it, pray about this week, and maybe next Sunday we can just kind of ask for a, a show of hands of who was, you know, would, would like to, pretty sure would, you know, can go. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a plus or minus thing as we go, but we'd like to have some kind of number that we can put a deposit on and, and know that we're going to be pretty close to that number uh, so they can make the tour plans in that regard. And... Uh, that's really about all I have to say. I'll know more tomorrow. I don't have a lot of answer to questions, but uh, uh, if if anybody has anybody in the tour guide business that goes to Israel, let me know. <laughs> we'll try anything I can, but it's, it's hard to go on the Internet and trust people. You see these things going up there, and everything you see, prices, got an asterisk beside it, and you've got to ask all these questions to see, well, what are the hidden costs? But 
The best I can come up with is safe to say it's going to be around $3,600 per person. That per person is a double occupancy in a room. So husband and wife is no problem. If we're single, people want to go. They need to find somebody else to, to room with. And if they don't, there'll be an extra, you know, several hundred dollar charge because they figure the prices are two per that room to get the split, split the motel up. And keep that in mind. But uh, other than that, uh, Brother Allen know more about. He's been there twice. I haven't been there at all, so he would know more about what to expect and weather wise and clothing or anything of that nature. But if you think about it, pray about it, and maybe next Sunday uh, we can just have a, a show of hands quickly, and we can just kind of get an idea of a figure, plus or minus, and then we can go from there and see what we can come up with. But I appreciate it. May God bless you. You, you see these tour groups, and you see them stopping off all these places and the preacher's got to preach a sermon, which to me is not, is not right. There will be no sermons preached when we go because it's, it's something that people want to see and it's not something to stop off every place and preach, which some of them want to do that. I know in the upper room, we went there, and here you go through there, and here all these people are in there, and you don't really get to see too much uh, of that because they're holding services. They stopped that. I'm glad they did because, you know, people, preachers, your Pentecostals anyway, want to get in there and and hog the place, and here you are trying to visit and uh, visit places that Jesus was at and so on. And, and uh, you've, you've got to work around people that uh, don't, uh, that are having their services of which that you don't want to hear. So there will be no preaching, and uh, people won't have to dress as though that you're going to a church service. But casual, nice clothes. Not just dress anyway, but casual, nice clothes. And uh, you don't have to wear a tie, but you, I would have advised men to take them a hat with them, cap, whatever, because you're going to these places, you've got to wear something on your head. That's all they are to it. If you don't, then they'll put put a skull cap on you, because they believe that uh, your head should be covered whenever you go into some of the holy spots. So uh, that's all the requirements. Plus, a person would need a a light jacket anyway. So, except Norwegians, they don't have to wear a jacket because we went to. Norway and it's 40 some degrees and Brother Swain had a short sleeve shirt on so and here I'm dressed with a jacket on because <laughs> it gets warm in Norway a whole lot quicker than it does here <laughs> even though it's cold well that's about all that I have for you now at this time uh, on this and like Brother Steve said we need to know something next by next Sunday I know all the South Africans want to go they have done already got plans on going so uh, that'll be a good way for people to be able to meet South Africans so that's all that I have and let us stand if we would please this morning brother Frank is going to minister to us and brother Kurt I, brother Kurt sang that song uh, this morning and uh, it it touched me it's an old song but when we see Jesus that's that's going to be the whole thing about it all is when we see Jesus coming in the air and I appreciate my brothers from Norway all, all of you people from Norway, but the ministering brothers that have held up the truth during 
these days of when that uh, difficulties have come. But really, truth is not difficult. If we walk in truth, the Bible says, walk in the light. And this is what we're trying to do and to teach people to do, is walk in the light. And sometimes there's casualties in it. But I thank the Lord for our brothers. And, uh, use Brother Swain tonight, but Brother Frank this morning. May the Lord bless our brother. Come on this time, you brothers. Himmelske Far, vi takker og priser dig i denne stund, Herre, for din nåde og din barmhjertighet og for din nærhet. Takk at du har sagt, Herre, at hvor to og tre er samlet, der er du selv midt i blant. Takk at du vil velsigne oss i dag, og du vil åpenbare din herlighet, Herre. Vi ønsker å kjenne din nærhet, Herre, og vi priser dig for ditt ord. Vi priser dig for ditt folk som er samlet her for mine brødre og søstre, Herre. Må du velsigne og styrke den enkelte. Herre, må du hjelpe mig til å si noe i dag som kan være et trøst og hjelp og til oppbyggelse, Herre, for Kristi menighet. Slik at vi kan vokse i nåde og i kjennskap til dig, Herre, til manns modenhet, til aldersmålet for Kristi fylde. Herre, vi legger møte og stunden i dine velsignede hender, og vi ber om din veiledelse i Jesu Kristi navn. Amen. Jeg føler meg hjemme. I feel like I'm home. Jeg håpet Steve skulle ta resten av møtet i dag, men... <laughs> I hope that Steve was going to preach today. <laughs> well, det er godt å være tilbake her i Faith Assembly. It's good to be back in uh, Faith Assembly Church. Jeg vet ikke hvilke, for hvilken gang vi er, I er her. I don't know what time it is, you know... How many times I've been there, but det er like givende hver gang vi kommer hit. It's uh, the same joy every time we come here. Det er et åndelig hjem for oss. This is a, a spiritual home for us. Og vi har fått mye god mat når vi har vært her. And we have uh, a lot of good food here. Og så når vi er hjemme i Norge, så kan vi ved Guds nåde se på internet og motta de budskap som går ut ifra dette sted. And when we're home in Norway, we can watch the internet and uh, see all the services. Og uh, vi setter pris på dere alle sammen, brødre og søstre. And we really appreciate you, brothers and sisters. Det er som å komme hjem når vi kommer til dere. It's just like coming home, like I said. Og uh, vi skal jo ha et stemme i Norge også dette år. Uh, we're going to have a convention in Norway this year too. Og jeg håper at den hver som kommer kan føle at de er hjertelig velkommen. And I hope that everyone that will come feel that they are they feel the same as we feel. Like Let's si hallo til de norske. And I want to say hi to the Norwegian people back in Norway. Gud velsigne dere. God bless you all. Jeg har valgt å kalle budskapet for enhet i tro. I chose the title uh, Unity in the Faith. Og vi går til Efesebrevet, det fjerde kapitlet. And uh, we go to Ephesians chapter 4. Det er et velkjent område. It's a well-known scripture. Og vi har sikkert hørt uh, enhet i tro mange ganger. And we have heard about unity in the faith a lot of times. Men uh, det er... Vi er i hvert fall nødt til å komme til enhet i tro, brødre og søstre. But it's wonderful, and we are, it's a must to, to be there, to come to unity in the faith. For Gud, han har ikke mange meninger. Because uh, God has not many opinions. Han har en mening. But he has one meaning. Og det er hans ord. And uh, that's his word. Og det, det er vi som må 
bli det är er vi som måste bli eniga med han. And uh, it's we that has to agree with him. Det är er inte han som kommer till oss och lurer på och förhandlar med oss. Uh, it's not he that comes to us and negotiate with us. Men vi är er nötta att lägga oss under uh, den heliga ands ledelse. But we have to be put under the leadership of the Holy Ghost. Och låt Guds ord och den heliga ande få lov att leda oss. And let God's word and the Holy Ghost lead us. För uh, Det står i uppenbaringen att uh, anden och bruden säger kom. Because in the revelation we see that the, the spirit and the bride says come. Så jag tror det att uh, Kristi menighet som är er Jesu Kristi brud. So I think the bride of Christ. Hur hur vill komma till enhet i anden vänner? She will reach the unit in the spirit, unity in the spirit. Och og också den uh, samma tro, enhet i tro. And uh, Unity in the faith. For Gud han är er en. Because God is one. Han är er inte spred för alla vinder. He's not spread all over. Han har en mening. He got one opinion. Och det står att uh, stri för den tro som en gång är er övergitt till de helige. And we know it says contend for the faith that once are given to the saints. Och det är er inte upp till oss vänner att tro vad som helst och det som passar oss. And it's uh, not up to us to believe whatever fit us. Men uh, vår tro vänner det ska vara baserat på Guds ord. But our faith has to be based upon the scripture. Det är er den enaste grundvallen som kommer kommer till att hålla. It's the only foundation that will hold. För alla ting ska komma till att bli rustet. Because everything is going to be shaken. Och det är er bara en ting som ska bli stående vänner. There is only one thing that will stand. Och det är er den grundvallen som Herren har byggt sin menighet på. And that's the foundation the Lord has made to put his church upon. För Jesus sa på denna klippe vill jag bygga min menighet. Because Jesus said upon this rock I will build my church. Och helvetets porter ska inte få makt över den. And the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Det är er många porter som förer till helvetet idag. There are a lot of gates that uh, lead you to hell in these days. Det är er, er plenty av organisationer där ute. There's a lot of organizations out there. Och de misleder folket. And they are misleading the people. De ger folket det som klör dem i öre. Uh, they give the people what itches their ear. Men när vi har fått ett budskap ifrån Herren överlevert oss. But we have received the message from the Lord. Och det är er det enda som håller för tid och för evighet. And it's the only thing that's got to keep you through everything. Så det budskapet som Herren har uppenbart för Jesu Kristi brud vänner er det är inte för vem som helst. So the message that the Lord has revealed for his bride it's not for everybody. Och troen är er inte alla sak som det står. And it says the faith is not for everybody. Men vänner för den som är er född av anden. But he said they who are born by the spirit. Han är er inte tillfreds med något annat än det som Herren ger. He is not satisfied with anything with Without the Lord is what it given him. Så det var som den fortellingen som en brandam snakkar om den örneungen som gick där i hönsegården. It's like the story Brother Branham told about the eagle in the among the chickens. Gick där han skönt inte språket. He didn't understand the language. <laughs> Men en dag så kom det en moder örn över området. But one day the the mother eagle was flying over. Han hörte det anskrike. And he heard the voice. Och så var det också med oss vänner. And that's the same thing with us. Vi gick där och hacka i kyllingmat. We was walking amongst chicken. Men en dag så ropte Herren till vårt hjärte. But one day Lord cried out. Och det var en respons i vårt hjärte bröder och systrar. And there was something that responded to that cry. Och vi längtade efter då for more of heaven and we were longing to get more from the lord these organizations they wander them försöker att stoppa oss this organization they try to stop us jag tog ju jag var ju ibland organiserad när jag hörte om dopen i Jesus Kristi namn och guddomen och alla dessa ting i was among the the organization when i received the baptism Och jag började att spöra dem vad vad med dopen i Jesu Kristi namn. And I asked them what about to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, that's a funny saker. Oh, they say that's very dangerous. 
Men i mitt hjärta så var det inte det. But in my heart there was I wasn't satisfied with that. Det var en gudomlig uppenbaring. There was a, uh, a godly revelation. Och jag tänkte att jag är villig att göra vad som helst här. Then I said I'm willing to do anything. För att gå din väg. To walk the right path. Och vi bröt med dem. And I, we broke up with them. Och det har varit flera brud efter som tiden har gått. And there was been a lot of breakups through time. Men det är en som är trofast. But it's only one you can trust. Det är den här Jesus Kristus. It's the Lord Jesus Christ. Han är troens upphavsman och fullender. He's the the author of faith. Ja. Och han vill stå med oss bröder och syster genom alla ting. And he will stand by our side in everything. Så jag tackar nämligen till Herren idag. So I'm so thankful to the Lord this morning. För att jag kan vara en del av dere bröder och syster. Det är min familj. Be a part of you, my family. En Gud han han är vår far. And God is our father. Och vi har en far. And we got one father. Och vi har en tro. And we got one faith. Så Kurt vill du läsa någon vers ifrån fjärde kapitel här? Ja, yeah, we're gonna read the chapter four from verse one to six. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewithin ye are called, with all loveliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even as we are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, our Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. And he said the unity of the spirit. What is that? Men när onden han har han har kun en mening. You know the spirit has only one opinion. Och det är det här ordet här. And that's the word of God. För Jesus sa mitt ord är ond och liv. Because Jesus said my word is spirit and life. Så det nytter inte att ha enhet i onden hvis vi inte är enhet i ordet, bröder och syster. And there can't be unity in the spirit if we can't agree with the word. För Herren han kan kun sanktionera med sitt eget ord. Because the Lord he only agrees with his word. Right. Och det är vi vänner som är som är nötta och och böja oss och ydmyka oss under ordet. And it's we that has to humble ourselves and bow under this word. I dag vänner så så går människor dit som de känner att de inte blir stött på någon måte. Today people go to places where they feel uh, they are safe. No one there to uh, read your hearts. Mm. Men då när vi är nöjda till att låta den helige on få lov till att melta oss, smälta oss. But we have to let the Holy Spirit just melt us. Alla har vi ett köd. Everybody has the flesh. Och det står att ködet, det står onden emot. And it says the flesh stands up against the spirit. Men onden står också ködet emot. But the spirit stands up against the flesh. Men Paulus han sa det ju till Timoteus. The Paul said to Timothy. Att det ska komma tider då de ska ta sig lärare i hopetall. And uh, when he says they're going to take them teachers in numbers. Som klör dem i öre. That have itching ears. Så so istället de liksom blir stött och förnärma på en plats. So if they uh, feel uh, offended, yeah. Vi går till en annan plats som Then de som de passar in. Somewhere else where I feel I fit in. Men den är Jesus Kristi brud, hon passar kun in i en plats. But the bride of Jesus Christ, she only fit in one place. Och det är i Guds sanna ord. And that is in God's word. Vi är som lera vänner i pottemakarens hand. We are just like the clay in a potter's hand. 
Og han danner kare slik som han vil ha det. And he makes it just like he wants it. Han har kontroll over lere. He has control over the clay. Og når han har fått kare slik som han ønsker at det skal bli. And when it has become like he wanted it to be. Så setter han det under sterk varme. Then he put the fire on it. Og sånn gjør han det med oss og brødre og søstre. And that's the same way with us, brothers and sisters. Herren han danner oss. He makes us. Efter sitt ord. After his word. For det står det at han har utvalt seg en brud. Because it says he has chosen a bride. Som han vannbader i ordet. That they go through the water of the word. Inntil han får det produktet som han vil ha. Until he got the product that he is looking for. Og venner, før Jesus kan komme og hente sin brud. And before Jesus comes to come. To get his bride, so må det være enhet i ånden. It has to be unity in the spirit. Det må være enhet i tro. Unity in the faith. Enhet i legeme. One is unity in the body. For det er ett legeme. Because it's one body. Og det er Jesu Kristi legeme det er snakk om. And it's the body of Jesus Christ. Og det er bare en ånd, venner, som kan operere i det leget med. And it's only one spirit that can operate in that body. Og det er den hellige ånd, brødre og søster. And that's the Holy Spirit. For Jesus sa, jeg vil sende dere talsmann, den hellige ånd. Because Jesus said, I will send you the Holy Ghost. Og han skal veilede eder til hele sannheten. And he shall teach you everything. Og jeg er overbevist om en ting, venner. And I'm... I know that. At den hellige ånd har ledet oss også til dette sted. That the Holy Ghost have even led us to this place. For at vi skal vokse i nåde og i kjennskap til Herren. So we can grow in knowledge and in stature. Så Herren kan komme og hente en brud som har gjort seg selv rede. So that the Lord can get a bride that have made herself ready. På hvilken måte har vi gjort oss selv rede, venner? How have we made ourselves ready? Jo, på grunn av at vi har latt Guds ord få lov til å gå over våre hjerter og liv. Vi har latt the word of God come over our life. For det er det som danner en standard i oss. Because it's the spirit that makes the standard inside of us. Kjød er kjød. Flesh is flesh. Og kjødet, det søker kjød. And the flesh seeketh after flesh. Men ånden, brødre og søstre... Han søker det åndelige. But the spirit search for the spiritual. La oss også lese fra det elvete verset. Let's read from verse 11 to 16. And he gave some apostles and some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till vi alle kommer i den unity av den fæt, og av den knowledge av den Sønne av Gud, og til en perfekt mann, og til den measure av den stature av den fullness av Christ. At vi henseforth blir no more children, tossed to and fro, og carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the slight of man and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplied, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, make it increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. Så vi ser det, venner, at det er Kristus som er hodet. So we can see that it's Christ that is the head. Og vi vi vet jo det i vårt eget liv. And we, if you look at ourselves, i det naturlige så styres vi av hodet. In the natural, we are led by the head. Vi vi tænker med hodet, vi resonerer med hodet. We are thinking, we resonate, or we use our head. Så hvis ikke hodet gjør noen ting, så ligger kroppen i ro. Så hvis hodet ikke gjør noe, så resten av kroppen står stille. For det er fra hodet, brødre og søstre, at alle ting styres. For det er fra hodet at alle ting kommer. 
Och så är det också i Kristi läge med. As it is the same with the body of Christ. Det är det är huvudvänner som ska ha styrningen över det läge med. It's the head that will rule over the body. Vi läser ju i Jakobs brev om om tungen som är ett ustyrlig lem. We were read in uh, in James about the tongue that uh, want to play his part. Som uh, inte ett människa kan tämma så det. It said that no man can uh, tame it. Men när det på pinsefestens dag så så kom det ett framfarande väldigt var och fyllt av disciplerna. But it says on the day of Pentecost there uh, uh, God's spirit came down mm. and, filled them, them. Yeah. and filled them and filled them. Och det så visste sig tunger som som satte sig på en var av dem. And it said it, they saw tongues of fire on over them. Och det blev ju inte att tala med andra tunger. And they spoke in different tongues. Och utan att den helige ande vänner är den som är drivkraften i vårt hjärte. So if it's not the Holy Ghost that lead us. Så är det köd. Then it's the flesh. Men Herren han önskar att anden ska vara den som driver. But the Lord wants the spirit to be the leadership in our life. Och han kan han kan tämma oss bröder och systrar. Ja, yeah, he can tame us. Put us where he wants us. Så på Paulus han han var också bestämt i sin vandring och han gjorde akkurat det som han bestämte sig för. You can look at Paul in the beginning. He was uh, he had his clear decision was a strong man. Men den dagen då han mötte Herren på Damaskusslätten. But the day he met Jesus on the way to Damascus. Så blev en förändring i hans liv. There was a change in his life. Han önskade bara att den Herren som han hade mött där. He only had one wish that the, the Lord that he met on that road. Att han måste leda ham. That he could lead him. Och han sa ju det till Ananias, jag ska visa ham hur meget han ska lida för mitt namns skull. And the Lord said, I will show to him how much he will suffer for my name's sake. Och själva man gick igenom många ting vänner. And even that he went through a lot of things. Så so son han aktet allt för skarn står det. Then he didn't look upon anything that he had from the beginning. As he looked upon as nothing. Han önskade bara att ha Kristus i sitt liv. He only wished to have Christ in his life. Han sa jag är korsfästet med Kristus. He said I'm crucified with Christ. Jag lever inte längre själv men Kristus lever i mig. I don't live longer by myself but I live for Christ. Och det är ett sånt uh, en ögonvaker vi måste ha. And it's just like something to wake us up like that. Så vi önskar bara en ting vänner. That we have only one wish in our life. Vi önskar det som anden vill. We only have a wish what the spirit wants to give us. Och när vi då har en tro, and when we come into the unity of the faith, då tror vi inte. Då det är er någon som säger att en värre sal i sin tro. Men det uh, är er inte tillfället. It's a saying, you know. It's everyone is uh, blessed in their own faith. Mm. But it's not right. That, it's, it's not like that. <laughs> Du är er väl signet i kun en tro och er i Guds tro. Blessed in one faith, and that's a faith in God. Och det står att han har gitt oss apostlar. And he says he has given to us apostles. Eller en femfold tjänsten om du vill. Or the fivefold ministry as we call it. Som uh, ska uppbygga Kristi läge med. They gonna build up the body of Christ. För att vi inte längre ska vara umyndige som det står. So we don't longer have to be like babes. Så so vi kastar or... sitt och dit och drivs om av ett vart lärdomsvär. Oh ja, cast to and fro by every doctrine. Och jag tackar Gud för att han har satt tjänare vänner i menigheten. And I'm so thankful that God has given us servants som står på sanningens grund. That stand upon the truth som inte är er villiga till att ge efter för ett vart krav som måste komma and they don't 
give in to everything that comes, but they stand upon the truth. Og Gud har gitt dem en, en ryggrad, venner. En, en need, a backbone. For å stå i denne onde tid som vi lever i. That God has given to stand in this day. Og venner, legeme, det er jo ett legeme som det står. It says that it's one body. Og alle så får vi en del av det her. And uh, you know, all of us is a part of that body. For det står at det er Gud satte lege med sådan i sammen. Because it said that God put the body together. At alle lemmene har samme omsorg for hverandre. So all the parts care about each other. Hvis du slår deg på lillefingeren. If you hit your little finger. Så reagerer hele lege med. Then the whole body will react and feel pain. Sånn er det også i Kristi lege med brødre og søstre. And it's the same way in the body of Christ. Vi har omsorg for hverandre. We have compassion for each other. Og den beste omsorgen som du kan vise. And the best compassion that you can give. Det er å gi sannheten. It's to give the truth. For det står at du skal kjenne sannheten, og sannheten skal frigjøre deg. Because it says that you, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. For Jesus han sa, ta mitt åk på jeder. Jesus said, take my åk. Oh. No. Jok, Jok, thank you. <laughs> For mitt åk er ganglig og min byrde er lett. Uh, yeah, because the Joe that he gives, you know, you are able to carry it. Yeah. If it's from him. Og det står han gir oss ikke større byrder enn at vi skal klare å bære det. And he says he, he doesn't give us more burdens that we are able to bear it. Right. Mange ganger, venner, så har vi en tendens liksom til å, å si at nei, nå, nå klarer jeg ikke mer. A lot of times we just feel that we are not able to take it anymore. Men gå, gå på. Just go on. For Herren, han, det står at som dagen er, så skal styrken være. It says, like the day is, so shall it be, so shall your strength be. Han vet hvor mye vi tåler. He knows how much you can take. Mange ganger så blir vi litt sånn feige, og vi drar oss tilbake. A lot of times you kind of you know, draw back, and, uh, and we get afraid. Kanskje vi blir fornærmet over det vi hører noen ganger. Maybe we be offended of what we hear. Ut ifra Guds ord. From the word of God. At vi må forandre på ting i vårt liv. That we need to change something in our life. Og det sårer kanskje også. And sometimes it hurt. Men venner, stå på. But Gjør said, det som ånden byder. Keep on, keep on going. Do what the Spirit wants you to do. Så skal du få kjenne at det er en forløsning i det. And you shall feel the strength of the Lord. Det er ingen venner som har gjort Guds vilde, vilje. There is no one that has done the will of the God. Og angret på det etterpå. And have a regret. Men det er mange som ikke har gjort Guds vilje. But there are many that has not done it. Og angret bittert etterpå. They haven't done it and they have regret they didn't. Sånn er Herren. That's the same with the Lord. Han har legedommen, brødre og søstre. He has the healing. Når vi føler oss nedslått, when, såret, fortvilet. And we feel down, hurt, and everything. Så so er det Herren som leger alle våre sår og brist. Then the Lord comes in and he heals us. Hvis gives vi us bare er villige til å legge oss under åndens ledelse. If we are only willing to be led by the Spirit. Han ønsker at vi skal ha en tro. He wants us to have one faith. Det snakkes mye om enhet her i Efeserbrevet også. You know, the Ephesian in 4a talks about the unity. Og det er bare Jesu Kristi brud, brødre og søstre. And it's only the bride of Jesus Christ. Som er villig til å legge seg under åndens inspirasjon. That is willing to lay under the inspiration of the Spirit. Og til å bli lik Kristus Jesus. And to be likened to Christ. Når du ser på den religiøse massen rundt omkring i dag, venner. If you look at the religious world. 
Så har de lust att göra akkurat det som köde har lust till. The only thing they want to eat is what the flesh like to do. Men Herren han önskar att vi ska göra det som onden leder till. But the Lord wants us to do what the spirit tells us to do. Enhet i ånd. Unity in the spirit. Och så har det står att vi har ett hopp. And he says we have one hope. Ja, det var ju lite så du. You can say that's not much. <laughs> Men vi har allt. Vi har Kristus, han är vårt hopp. We say Christ, he is our hope. Och i ham så har vi alla ting bröder och syskon. And in him we have everything. Priset vare Herren. Praise the Lord. Han är vår fred. He is our peace. Han är vår försoner. He is uh, he paid the price. Han är vår läge. He is our doctor. Han är vårt allt. He is everything. Vi kan gå till ham med alla ting. We can go to him with everything. När du är sjuk så kan du gå till Herren. When you are sick, you bring it to the Lord. Because I'm God, your healer, your doctor. Som helbreder dig från alla dina sjukdomar. And I heal you from all diseases. Sa inte Herren det till Israels barn i öknen? Didn't he say that to the Israel in the in the wilderness? Där som det är följer mig ser Herren och är lydig mot mitt ord. If you follow me and are following my commandments or the word. Då ska jag lägga noa av de sjukdomar som jag la på egyptarna. Then over there. None of the sickness that I put upon the Egyptians shall come on you. Nej. Herren är trofast. He's so faithful. Priset vare Herren. Praise the Lord. Det är det enda vittnesbörd jag har. This is the only testimony I have. Han är trofast. He's so Om vi är trolösa. If we if you can trust in us, you can trust in him. För han kan inte förnekta sig själv. Because he can't deny himself. Han är vid dunderlig bröder och syster. He's so precious. Han är en en vän i nöden för nåt såre stor. He's a friend, and you have all your problems. Jag kunde inte vara utan Herren. I couldn't live without him. Jag älskar ham. I love him of all my heart. Och jag hoppas att mitt liv kan vara ett exempel. And I hope that my life can be an exampleship of the Lord. Men vi är nödt att kontrollera vårt köden vara oss. But we are need to control the flesh. För köden det går i mot onden. Because it raises up against the spirit. Men det står att den onden som är i oss vänner den är den är starkare. But it says greater is He that is in us than He that is in the world. Yeah. Så han har gitt oss alla ting för att vi kan säga. So he has given us everything so we can have a victory. Så jag tackar namn lite här igen. Så han är väldigt tacksam. Korinther nu också. First Corinthians chapter one. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, first Corinthians chapter one. Ja. Nej, det är så. From verse ten to fifteen. No, I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that that there be no divisions among you, but that ye may be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. For it hath been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe, that there are no contentions among you. Now this I say that every one of you said I am of Paul, or I am of Paulus, or I am of Kephas, and I of Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you, or were you baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God I have baptized none of you, but Crispus and Gaius, Amen. lest any should say that I had baptized in mine own name. Yes, Amen. Så vi ser också att Korinther menigheten bröder och systrar. Så vi ser när han write till Korinthians. Han kommer med de samma förmaningens ord också till dem. He tell the same words. Att de må vara fast förenat i samma sin. And he said that you have need to have the same mind. Den samma tro. The same faith. Förenat i samma sin och i samma mening. 
uh, the same mind and the same meaning. Mm -hmm. Så du kan säga si, ja men då då blir det ju väldigt sån snävert. Eh uh, you can say well that's uh, very narrow. <laughs> <laughs> ja. Men när det 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 enaste gångliga det är er att ha Guds mening och tanke och tro och sin. Allt det andra vänner det det kommer till att falla. The only thing that is necessary is to have the same faith, the same spirit, the same mind. The same judgment. It's very necessary. Före den samma tale. And have the same speech. Jag tror det är er Peter som säger det om någon talar. Han he talar som Guds ord. He said if anyone speaks, he speaks according to the word. Det är er det enda Herren vill höra, bröder och systrar. That's the only thing that the Lord wants to hear. Våra ord är er, er tomhet. Our word it's empty. Men hans ord, det är er liv. But his word, it's life. Det står att Guds ord är er levande och kraftig. It says that God's word is alive. It's a living word. Och det kräver själ och nå ledemod och marg. And it goes in and it uh, like a two-edged sword. Det är mer att skjuta tankar och råd. And it judges your heart and your thoughts. Jag tänkte på det som står här. I was thinking what we read here. Varför var det någon som sa att de höll sig till Paulus? Why was it some that said I'm holding on to Paul? Till Apollos, Kephas, Kephas, Kristus, Christ. För jag tror nämligen det bröder och systrar att de får kynte det samma. Because I think they all preach the same thing. Det skulle inte vara någon grundlag för att hålla sig till den eller den. There should be no reason to have a favorite. Och Paulus han sa det är er kjødelige mennesker. Paul said you all walk by the flesh. Når de holder dere, dere til sånne ting. When you hold to flesh. Jeg må si det at hvis halvparten av dere skulle holde seg til broder Bud her. You can say 50% would uh, hold to broder Bud. I, say, I like broder Bud. Oh, okay. <laughs> jeg, jeg liker broder Bud. <laughs> he likes broder Bud. <laughs> Och den andra halvparten skulle hålla sig till broder Allen. Ja, 50% till broder Allen. Vad vad är vad gör det med oss vänner? What does it do with us? Det skapar splid. It makes division. Vad har den han önskar inte splid i i sin menighet. And God don't want division. Så när bröderna får kynna det samma evangeliet. So when the brethren preach the same gospel. Har den samma uppenbarelse. Have the same revelation. Där är ingen grundlag för att favorisera någon. There is no reason to have any favorites. För vad är Paulus sa? What is Paul? Vad är Apollos? What is Apollos? Tjänare vid vilket vi kom till troen. Just servants. Och det som Herren gav en var så det. They preached the gospel. Jag plantet. I planted. Apollos vandet. Apollos watered. Men Gud gav växt. But God gave the increase. Så är det heller inte den någon som planterar eller den som vandrar. So they are nothing if they that plant or water. Men Gud som ger växt. But God that gives the increase. Och Paulus han gick inte runt och förkynte sig själv. And Paul he didn't go around and preach himself. Inte inte Apollos eller Kefas eller någon. Not even Apollos or Kephas. Jag har aldrig hört att bröderna här har stått fram och förkynt sig själva. I never heard his brother preach about themselves. De håller fram Guds sanna ord. They are holding up the word of the Lord. Och det är er det som gör det värd bröder och systrar att samfunna med dem. And that's what makes it worth to stand together with them. För Herrens ord är er det som ska bli stående när allt det andra er faller. Because when everything is shaken, there's only one thing that's going to stand, and it's the word of the Lord. Det står att Guds ord är er lutrat syv gånger. It said it's been uh, tried seven times. Det är prövd på alla yeah. vis. Tried in everything. Når uh, Sadrach, Mesach og Abednego vender, stod for sin Gud. Mesach og Abednego, when they stood before the Lord, alle sammen var imod dem. Everybody was against them. Så stod de med denne sandhed ni fra Herren. But they stood with the truth from the Lord. Herren din Gud, han skal du tilbede. The Lord, your God, du shall you serve? Vad vill ni göra sig för kungens krav? They didn't want to bow for the king. Det var inte för att de var stå. It not because they were stubborn. 
Det var inte för att han ville gå upp emot kungen. Uh, or stand up against the king. Men uh, deras liv var avhängig av att vara lydig mot Herren. But their life was dependent on the truth. Yeah. Därför så stod han på det. That's why they stood. Och när kungen blev harm och gjorde ånden sju gånger heter det tror jag. And when the king got angry and he heated up the oven even more. Och de kastades, kastade dessa tre män i ånden in i ilonden. And he threw them in the oven, the furnace of fire. Och de som kastade dem in, de brann upp. Yeah, and they that threw them in, they burned up themselves. Men så fick kungen se, kastade vi kan tre män in i ånden. And he, the king said, didn't we put three men in there? Men jag kan se fyra. Now I see four of them. Och en av dem ser ut som en gule sön. And one of them look Hallelujah. godliness. Men det är en troen på Herren som är den sanna tro. The, den står the real mot alla ting. faith in God stands up against everything. Och de förde dem ut av illonen. And they even took them out again. Och det luktar inte en gång svida dem. They, they even smell burn. <laughs> Det var ett hårstrå som de gick in med, det kom de ut med. All the hair that still had it on the head. Så so Gud han är mäktig. Så so God is mighty. Han är mäktig över ilden, vänner. Han är mäktig över alla ting. He has the power over the fire, over everything. Men det är väl tro. Det är väl tro, bröder och syster. It's by faith, brothers and sisters. Att vi ser på dessa ting. That we can look upon all these things. Och den ene tro, den sanna ene tro, vänner, den håller. And this faith, the one... Beloved faith, it holds. Mm. Men så tänkte jag, varför, varför kunde de säga att jag håller mig till den? I think, den? What, why did they say I hold more to one person than the other? Det de är kjöde, bröder och söstrar. It's only the flesh. Kjöde har sådana utvägar, sådana stick, avstickar. The, the flesh makes, you know, easier ways out. Mm. För att de liksom kunde få till en... Uh, en splittelse på en måte. Kjødet, vet du det? Det står at kjødets attro er fiendskap imot Gud. It says that uh, the flesh, you know, it's enmity against God. Det står alt i Gud imot. And that's why it makes division. Men da, hvis vi er villige til å korsfeste kjødet. But if we are willing to crucify the flesh. Med alle dets begjæringer. With all their lusts and everything. Och ska vi mer än seire med Herren? And we shall we shall be victorious. För vi har alla fått ett köd utlevert. Because everybody has a, has their own flesh. Men vi har också ansvar för att och korsfästa det. But it's our responsibility to crucify the flesh. Right. Och som Jesus sa mitt åk är gångligt och min börda är lätt. And he said my yoke you're able to bear it. Men hvis vi elsker kjødet mer enn ånden, venner. But if we love our flesh more than the spirit. Så vil vi alltid finne en lettere utvei. We will always make an easier way. Men det er bare, det er bare Guds vei. But there is, there is only one way, and that's God's way. Or no way. <laughs> no no <more> way. Så... <laughs> <laughs> so, Låt oss också gå till Luka 6. Vi går till Luke chapter 6. Luke 6 verse 46. Luke 6 verse 46 till 49. And why call you me Lord Lord and do not the things which I say? Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which build an house and dig it deep and lay the foundation on the rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon the house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. Mm-hmm. But he that heareth and doth not is like a man without a foundation, Built on a house upon the earth, against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. Mm-hmm. Well, then there is a to be a fall in these days. And I have to say, it's going to be a great 
fall or ruin in this state. Når Herren, når denne dagen som det står om i Korinterbrevet, det tredje kapitel, første Korinter med det tredje kapitel. And you read, you know, in the first Corinthians chapter 3. Dagen skal åpenbare, det står det. That they shall reveal it. For den åpenbares med ill. Because it's revealed through fire. Da skal en værs verk bli prøvd. And every man's work shall be tried. Og det er bare det, venner, som tåler ilden som blir stående. There is only one thing that can stand through the fire. Og det er Guds ord. And that's the word of God. Så hvis vi, hvis vi bygger på det, so if you build upon this, så vil det stå seg. It will stand. For det var det Jesus sa, på denne klippe vil jeg bygge min menighet. Jesus sa, upon this rock, I will build my church. Og helvete sporter skal ikke få makt over det. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Det ser kanskje noen ganger så ser det litt sånn stakkarslig ut med kristig menighet. Many times you can look upon the church and say you could think it could be different. Når du ser på alle disse store organisasjonene og disse velfylte husene rundt omkring. When you look at big buildings and big groups. Og det var noe av det som Satan visste Jesus så når han tog ham med opp på fjellet. I think Satan showed Jesus that when he took him up on the mountain. Alle verdens riker og hans, dens herlighet som det står. All the riches in the world. Men Herren han visste bedre. But uh, Jesus he knew better. Og det vet vi jo, brødre og søstre. And we too, we know better. Han har kommet for å ta sig ut en brud. He has come to take out his pride ifra de forskjellige plasser i verden from different places in the in this world og til og med i lille Norge and even in little Norway så han tatt seg ut noen he have chosen a few people vi takker Gud for det and I'm so thankful to the Lord det er Guds nåde brødre og søstre at vi kan stå her it's just by mercy hans nåde imot oss har ikke vært forgjeves his mercy it's the way we are standing here today. It's because of that. Kan vi ta med oss romerne 12 før vi slutter jo? Can we take the Romans chapter 12? Verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be, but be it transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Mm-hmm. Det står at vi kan, vi kan prøve hva som er Guds velbehagelige vilje. You can see what is acceptable and God's will. Han har, han har lagt det i våre hjerter, brødre, og prøve det som... For Paulus han sier, prøv alt og hold fast på det gode. It says that try everything and hold on to that what is good. Så vi kan prøve hva som er Guds vilje. We can test out what is God's will. Det velbehagelige og det gode. That that is good. Når det står det i, i apostlenes gjerninger. It says in Acts... <laughs> At den hellige ånd og vi, that uh, the Holy Spirit and we, har bestemt, has decided, og ikke lægge nogle andre byrder på eller, and put no burdens and, upon you, and these things som dem da nævner op der, and these things that they mention, så da har de jo fundet ud, hvad som var den hellige ånds vilje. Then they have understood what is the will of the Holy Ghost. Og Herren har givet os skøn venner til at Forstå det. And God has given us the understanding. Han har gitt oss den hellige ånd i vårt hjerte. He has given us the Holy Ghost in the heart. Og det er den venner som, som veileder oss til hele sannheten. And that's the spirit that leads us to the whole truth. Og det er den som lærer oss. And he teaches us. Så vi kan være velbehagelige for Herren. So we can be holy and acceptable for God. Og det står at dette er eders åndelige gudstjeneste. And this is uh, your uh, reasonable service. Så må Herren velsigne dere brødre og søstre. Så so may God bless you, every one of you.
Det var bare noen få ord ifra, ifra Norge i dag. This is some words to you from Norway. Håper Herren eh, har gitt dere noe som kan være til oppbyggelse. And I hope that God has given you something to edify, to think about. Så so, la oss be. Let us pray. Himmelske far, vi takker og priser dig. Tack att du har født oss på ny till ett levende håp, Herre. Tack att du har gitt oss ditt ord, Herre, for ditt ord det er en lykte for vår fot og en lys på vår sti. Herre, må du velsigne mine brødre og søstre som har lyttet, Herre, til de ord som er kommet. Vi takker dig, Herre, for ditt ord det er rent og det er sant. Hjelp oss, Herre, til å, så vi kan kultivere vårt hjerte og liv, så vi kan bli dig mer lik i alle livets tilskikkelser. Herre, vi lägger alt i dine velsignede händer. Må du se till mina brødre og søstre. Er det sykdom i blant oss, Herre, så ber vi om at du må lägga dem, for du er Herren vår lege. Vi lägger alt i dine händer i Jesu Kristi navn. Amen. I guess everybody's not as long-winded as I am. Add a little bit to what that I said before uh, about concerning the trip to Israel. We're not going to have people that unbelievers to go. It's just not going to happen, so I want to get that straightened out now. People that uh, just uh, go on a trip, and I kind of feel like maybe I shouldn't say this, but people that have left, that uh, let them choose their own way to go with another group if they want to go but I, it's just a trip for believers and whenever I'm talking about believers I'm talking about people that uh, believe in what that we're doing now and that's a uh, that's what that I want and that's what I want to see so I thought I'd mention that to you so that there'd be no mistake. And thank you, brother. Thank you for the message today. Thank you, brother Kirk, for interpretation. It's all very good and appreciate it. Let us stand at this time if we would. And uh, if someone has a need, brother David comes. We'll uh, see that you get prayed for. When I look all around and see the good things He's done for me, I know I'm unworthy of them all. For His blessing He freely gives I owe. All my life to Him I've got so much to thank. Yes, I've got so much to thank you for, so much to praise him for, you see, he has been so good to me. When I think of what he's done and where he has brought me from, I've got so much to thank. Oh, and each day 
While on my way I kneel I stop and say thank you Lord Oh for all you've done for me And someday I'll reach Sweet heaven shore Oh please let me kneel once more I've got so much to thank Him for Yes, I've got so much to thank Him for, so much to thank Him for. You see, He has been so good to me. And when I think of what He's done and where He has brought me from, I've got so much to thank Him for. And each day, while on my way, I kneel, stop to say thank you, Lord, oh, for all you've done for me. Someday I'll reach heaven's shore, oh, please. Let me kneel once for I've got so much to thank Him for. Yes, I've got so much to thank Him for, so much to praise Him for. You see, He has been so good to me when I think. What He's done and where He has brought me from I've got so much to thank Him for People said I'd never make it I'll never see it through they don't know what keeps me going I guess they never have met you All my life was a shamble Until the day you came along You turned my tears into laughter you gave me a brand new song And I'm still holding on Lord, I'll never let you go Oh, you gave me a smile You touched my heart, you touched my soul and all the bridges that's behind me Oh Lord, I burn them to the ground Oh, I'm still holding on You're the best friend I ever found Hold it like to prosper Oh, that was hanging o'er my head Oh, he'll never amount to nothing That was most people said Well, I've been known to be unsettled Never stayed around too long Oh, but you're the treasure I've been searching for Oh, and Lord, I'm still holding on Oh, I'm still holding on Lord, I'll never let Gave me a smile, 
touch my heart, you touch my soul. And all the bridges that's behind me. Oh Lord, I burn them to the ground. Oh, I'm still holding on. You're the best friend I ever found. Oh, and I'm still holding on. Oh Lord, I'll never let you go. for that and may the Lord bless each and every one of you again there was a watch a lady's watch found out in the parking lot last Sunday I think it was so if this is your watch and you feel free to come and get it so there's food for everybody out back if you want to take part in it so you're welcome to and remember the service tonight and remember your brothers and sisters in prayer. Brother Turner, would you dismiss us in prayer and pray over the food? situation we find ourselves in, oh God, help us to yield totally and complete in Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. Remember, remember service time tonight, 6 o'clock.